back to the Headbangers Ball. It's a special edition dedicated to Van Halen and it almost seems like this is turning into a documentary of a day in the life of Van Halen. A little earlier there we saw the guys down at the radio station. Now we're joining them just at the end of sound check before tonight's gig and as you can see Eddie's joined me again and Eddie actually before we actually go on and talk about your guitars and how you were interviewed out you wouldn't believe the amount of talking these guys have had to do over the last something few I don't enjoy doing no. Oh, well. no with you it's okay oh, thank you that's very sweet now actually before we talk about your guitars a lot of viewers are interested in your techniques and effects you use and so on um, I just wanted to actually say that tonight we're playing in a, a very small intimate club and I'm sure it's it's great for you to get back into this kind of environment with the fans right up in your face kind of thing um is this this is kind of a connection with Cabo Wabo club isn't oh, it it's actually very similar yeah, yeah actually our club's bigger yeah, and this is actually a club that you have in, is it South America? Uh, it's, uh, uh, what do you call it, Baja California, uh -huh. the very tip of uh, Baja California. Uh -huh. So it's actually Mexico, yeah. And you just go down there and jam with Well, you... that actually started out to be Sammy's brainstorm, because right. he had a condominium down there, and he goes, hey, guys, let's build a club down there so we can play. <laughs> and it's been great. There's a lot of bands like uh, Alice in Chains, uh, some members of... Uh, uh, Guns N' Roses and Metallica, they all go down there for vacation and get up and jam at night just for the hell of it, you know? Yeah, it's a lot of fun. You're going to feel very at home here in this yeah. kind of environment tonight. Uh -huh. Good. Now tell us a little bit about um, the guitar, because this well, is, is one that you a custom... Basic rundown of equipment, uh, you know, I mean, the, the heart and soul of my gear is this guitar and the amp back there, which is a PV, PV-5150 head, and uh, the Music Band guitar, which I guess we've been... Uh, selling for about four or five years, something mm -hmm. like that, and uh, wow, it's, it's nothing, there's no special tricks to it or anything, it's just really a good piece of wood, and the neck is computerized copy of an old favorite neck of mine, right. so when you pick it up in a store, uh, it feels like it's been played, you know what I mean, it's yeah. not, it doesn't have that brand new yeah. kind of alien feeling, mm -hmm. and uh, basically the thing I was looking for we only make like about 2,000 a year, which isn't very many at all. Most companies crank out about 25,000 a month. So the quality is really cool. I remember the last tour, I was hanging with the guys from Black Sabbath, Tony Iommi. They asked me to come jam with them, and my equipment had already left for London. So I said, hey, I got no equipment. Is there a music store around? So I went to the local store and borrowed one of my guitars that they was, that was for sale. It was identical to mine, which is great to know. You know? Right, yes, they're very... And effects-wise, uh, well, if you want to see it, I use... Uh, a hard, actually, cabinet-wise, I use a, a dry cabinet in the middle, mm -hmm. uh, which is basically foolproof, so if my effects blow up, I won't lose anything. Uh, and I got two outside cabinets, which have the effects going through them. And I, it looks like a lot of stuff, but it's actually really simple. I use a, uh, a, uh, a harmonizer uh, and an echo for each side, which I have set differently. And uh, the rest is cordless units and backup echo units. A noise gate, because when you turn everything all the way up, uh, you tend to get a, a, an unbearable hiss. Right. So you have to... <laughs> and and that's a power amp down there for the effects cabinets. And that's basically. And I use uh, some real goofy old old uh, MXR push pedal stuff, which you can't even buy anymore. But uh, actually, I use those more than the, than the rack stuff. You know. So there's Simple. guitarists out there amongst you. I hope that made sense to you. It's very interesting. Most of it is right here. It is, of course. <laughs> I mean. Um, when you did the album, did you do a lot? Did you spend a lot of time getting guitar sounds in the studio, oh, or is simple. it simple? Uh, in the studio, I don't use all that stuff. Right. I just use one cabinet with one head and a guitar, and that's it. And we add the effects later while you mix. Yeah. And how, how many guitars might you use on a tour or take with you out on tour, on like a, a big tour, like Bon Jovi tour coming well, up? I'll take, I'll take probably four or five. But if I'm lucky and it's a good evening, uh, I'll only need one. <laughs> you know. Because really, I prefer to play my main guitar, yeah. you know. I mean, it's really weird because the guitar starts kind of becoming part of you. If yeah. it's your main instrument, yeah. you know what I mean? And it feels comfortable. Yeah, yeah. So if I don't break a string, I play this one all night. You know? Final question. Do you practice every day? Uh, I haven't played in a month. So it's going to be interesting <laughs> tonight. <laughs> but Because we've been so busy doing interviews. But uh, obviously, when we're on tour, yeah, I play every day. Thanks for that insight into your guitars, and we'll let you go off because I know you've got other things to do to get ready for yeah, the like show. Yeah, like a nap. Yes, absolutely. So there you are, a little bit of information about Eddie and his guitars. Interesting stuff.